Hi, Rich Spazano here from Digitally Feelers. Today we're going to talk about the fill tool, and I'm also going to talk about something else. Uh, some people have commented that they wish Affinity Photo had a reference layer like Procreate, and it actually does. So I'm going to talk about using it as a reference layer, the fill tool, and the difference between the fill tool and the way you can use Alpha Lock. I'm going to do this in both iPad and desktop versions. I'm going to start with iPad, but right after the credits, you'll see the time code for the desktop version, so you can skip right ahead. So let's get started. So I have this flower right here, and in Procreate, they have what they call a reference layer. And reference layer means you can use a fill tool and fill in the different spots of the reference layer. And, they, and you fill them in on a different layer. Well, we can absolutely do that in Affinity Photo. And here's how. All you have to do is add a second layer. So go up to here, say New Pixel Layer. And in the New Pixel Layer, let's pick a color. So let's say we pick some kind of a red. And then what we'll do is we'll go to the Fill Tool. And in the Fill Tool, right on the bottom here, right down here, you can do current layer and below so now i go right now that i'm on that new pixel layer i just go to the fill tool and i tap and each time i tap it, it doesn't matter because it's underneath it's set I'm down on the bottom remember it says current layer and below and that's what i want so now what i could do is go to the next layer add a new layer pixel layer let's change the color to maybe a yellow of some sort and we can go right to here with the fill tool once again and we can go in the middle and then we can go one more layer add another layer and then i'm going to show you the difference and why we would use alpha lock as opposed to just the fill and i'm going to show you that in a minute so let's go to the greens somewhere in that area and this time on that same remember that different layer and i went make sure you put them on a different layer and i'll go like that now I want to point out one more thing. Right here below, I'm going to enlarge this. Sometimes your brush has, a, it's not a smooth brush. And so what you can do, say you wanted to paint that green. You can see on the edges all around here, the white. So instead of that, let's undo that. On the bottom of the fill tool, raise the tolerance. Maybe go way up and then do it again. And you see how it fills in all those little spaces like Right in this area, it's perfect. So if you have a brush that's not a smooth edge brush, that's how you do it. You just raise your tolerance up. So now I'm going to tell you why you would use Alpha Lock. Let's go back out. Let's go to the paintbrush now. And I don't know what paintbrush we can use. Let's pick a really, a, let's do, actually, let's do an oil paints maybe. Let's try uh, oils. That looks, that looks right there and maybe we'll just pick an oil brush right now and instead now I'm, I'm going to I want to paint in oils and now I'm going to choose the same red now remember I taught you this in another tutorial if you press down with your finger and then move out you could pick the exact same red that you had before so and and you could see right up here on top it's that same red so what I want to do now is instead of that red I want to go maybe tiny bit darker. I'm going to bring it in a little bit. So you can see right there that it's a little bit darker. And now what I'll do is with the, I make sure on the bottom, if I paint it now on that red layer, let's go back to that red layer. If I paint it over that, and I'm going to show you what will happen. That'll happen. And we don't want that. So let's do this. First of all, I want to also lower the opacity really low. So let's say I did that again. That's what's going to happen. I don't want that to happen. I want to alpha lock it. So that's why I painted on different layers. So on the bottom right here where the brush is, you turn on alpha lock. And now what you can do is paint and it won't go outside. Of, like it won't go onto the yellow. It won't go onto the black. I can even go like this if I wanted to. I don't want to do that because that's not the way to do it. But you know what I mean. So I could just kind of get some shading in here. And if I wanted to add a little, maybe a little white, not white. If I wanted to go lighter, 
So let's say in that shade, I can go a little bit lighter on top here. How about like that? I can add like a little bit of texture here if I want. I'm going to make my brush bigger. And uh, believe me, this is not supposed to be a beautiful piece of art, but you know what I mean. And then if I want also, I can get a texture brush. Let's see, textures. Oops, let's try that one and find some interesting texture brush, maybe this one and go into the green family. So I'll press down on the green and move up and now it's green on the bottom. And if I take that green and I go a little bit darker, say like that and make sure I'm on the green layer and on the green layer, protect alpha is on and I can start spraying some texture on that if I want. And you notice no matter where I, go it doesn't go outside the line so and that's just a simple explanation so a reference layer one nice thing is uh, in procreate you can only have one reference layer but here it doesn't matter how many layers of outline you have it doesn't matter where the layers are as long as when you go to the fill tool you say current layer and below every one of those lower layers become reference layers Coming up next is the desktop version. I hope you liked this tutorial, and if you did, please click like and subscribe, and have a great day. Thanks so much. Bye. Okay, now I'm going to show you in the desktop version, again, the difference between fill and alpha lock and reference layers like in Procreate, because people have asked me about reference layers not being an affinity photo, and they really are. So here we go. I'll talk about this in a second, but this is a picture of a flower, and all I need to do is add a new layer. So I'll go down here and add a pixel layer. I'm going to go to the Fill tool, and on the Fill tool, I want the color to be a red. So I'm going to click here and pick a red and close. And with the Fill tool, as long as you have on top that says not Current Layer, but Current Layer and Below, and then you just get the fill tool and you tap. And what it's doing is it's using every layer below as a reference layer. So there's a difference between this and alpha lock and I'll show you alpha lock in a minute. So there you go. That's how easy that is. And now we want to change our color to yellow and make sure you put it on a new layer. You don't have to, but it's really important to show you this because of alpha lock. So let's get a new pixel layer and on the yellow, I'm just going to go like that. And then I'm going to add another new pixel layer and turn this to green, say that kind of green, a little bit, maybe darker than that, like that close. And I'm going to just go like that and that. So now if you pull away the reference layer, that's what you did. And the reason we did it on separate layers is now we want to add alpha lock. And alpha lock is pretty important now, so watch this. If I go to the red layer, on the red layer I go to the paintbrush, and I picked a soft brush right now, and up on top here, right there, it says protect alpha. I'm going to do a protect alpha. Let's go like this. Let's choose that red right here. And now instead of that red, I think I might want to go a little darker, just slightly, not, not much. And with a nice soft brush, I'm just going to tap in a little bit. Let's get a close up here. And I have my flow very low. I can raise my flow if I want. And I, I could raise a little bit of the hardness, but I really don't want to. I just want to tap in here. I can go smaller. And I don't know if you could see this. but it's getting darker. I'm just kind of shading it. And if I wanted to go to a lighter red, I could go somewhere like that or whiter, like, like that. And I can just kind of give a little bit here. But the point I'm doing with the alpha is I am making sure that it doesn't go outside. So for example, if I painted, let's go back to the regular red. 
if I want, if I paint it across here, nothing will go outside that red. It'll only be in the red. Now, you notice how there's a little white. I didn't notice it when I was doing it at first. You see the white edges all around there? That's because my tolerance wasn't good, and I'm going to show you how to fix that right now. So if I turn this one on, I used a brush here that was really not a, a good brush to use because it's not even colors. So what I want to do, if I fill that one with red, let's put a new layer. And I'm going to go back to my fill tool. And if I fill that, you see all the white on the edges? Let me undo that, Control Command Z. On top, on the fill tool, you'll see a tolerance level. If I raise that higher up, then watch what it does now. See how it filled in all that extra space? And that's what I should have done here, except it's always good to get a real close-up. I wouldn't have known that. So now, whoops, I wouldn't have known that at all by doing it this way and now it's kind of too late because i already did it i mean i can always just turn this off add another pixel layer and now that the tolerance is up i can go back to the fill and you can see the difference now you see how smooth and i'm going to compare that to what was there before see that and then that look at the difference so that's how your tolerance level works so and you can use texture too. So again, alpha lock is really good because for example, if I took a brush and instead of that, I took a texture brush. Let's see what we have here. Let's find a nice texture, something maybe like that. And I'm gonna go to the green now and let's get a close up of the green. And I'm going to pick the same green but only a little bit darker. So I'm gonna just shade this a little darker like that maybe. And now take the brush, which is a texture brush. Let's close this up out of my way and start brushing on top. And you see, it doesn't matter how far out I go. It just does, it, the alpha lock keeps it in. So the difference is now, reference layer is in Procreate is the same as our fill layer. The only difference is and I'll fill layer, you just have to make sure you say current layer and below up here. And alpha lock is, forget that there's even an outside layer. We can turn these all off. Alpha lock, anything that there's no color on in that layer will not be painted on. So you can paint on top of all your colors. And like this, let's see the green. Let's go, let's go to the red. Not that we want the red to be green, but... See that? I can just go right on top of that one or this one. And you can paint on all your colors however you want to, but nothing will appear outside. So that's all there is to that. So I hope you liked this tutorial. And if you did, please click like and subscribe and have a great day. Thanks so much. Goodbye.